Hi everybody, today we are going to see how to create table in MS Word. What are the different methods of creating table? There are many ways of creating tables in MS Word. We will see one by one. Now we will see the various method of creating table. Click insert table. There is a first method is insert table method. The second method is draw table method. The third method is convert text to table. The fourth method is inserting Excel spreadsheet. The fifth method is quick table. And I will be also teaching about keyboard techniques of creating table. Now you can see if I want to create a table with four columns into three rows. Four columns into three rows. See here, click insert table. Select four columns and three rows. Now you can see you have created the table with four columns and three rows. So this is the first method of creating a table. Now once again I will repeat. With five columns I am going to create a table. Five columns into six rows. That means I will be having a table with five columns and six rows. Now once again going to insert table. I am selecting the number of columns as 5 and the number of rows as 6. So this is the first method of creating a table. You can see this table has 5 columns and 6 rows. Very simple method of creating table. Very easiest method of creating table is using insert table method. This method will be useful when you know the correct number of columns and rows, you can use this. I am going to increase the number of rows. Now you click on the last column. That is the last column, last row. You have to keep the cursor there. After keeping the cursor, you can click tab key to insert a new row. This is the easiest method. Okay, so you have to have the number of columns correct. If you want to insert new rows, it is very easy. You can click at the last cell. Okay, that is the last row, last column and you just click tab. Now, I am going to teach you about the second method of creating table. How to create table using draw table method. This is a very simple method. You go to insert, click draw table, first draw the outer border of the table. Okay, now using the pencil tool, you can create columns. You can see I am creating new columns. You can also create new rows. This is a very useful method. Okay, you can see you can draw any number of columns, any number of rows as you wish. Now you can see I am going to create another column in between the second row and the third row. This is possible. And there is also another tool called eraser tool. If something you want to remove it, you can remove the tool. Now you can see I am creating a new column. You can see the lining styles are different styles are available. Okay, you can see single line, dotted lines, double lines. So this is a new line I'm drawing. You can see this line. Yeah, this is a new one. And you can also see three points, four points, four and a half points, different points are available. You can, the size of the line can be also changed. The color can be also changed. You can see that I have drawn in a green color. So you can use this uh, eraser tool. Okay, it is, you, Use like a merge tool. Okay, in table there are two methods. One is merging and splitting. This eraser is used as a merge tool. You can see once again I am drawing a green color line. I am drawing another color line. You can see using draw method you can do different types of designs in the table. You can merge, you can split, whatever you want you can do in the draw table method. This is one of the simplest method in creating a table you can see just i am using the eraser tool to merge the columns yeah 
this tool will be very useful eraser tool okay now we will switch over to the next method now the third method for creating table we will see you go to the method this method is a convert text to table method the method is you have to insert separate characters such as comma or tabs to indicate where to divide the text into columns so now i am typing serial number comma name of the student comma age comma the last thing is rank okay so this is how i am going to do it one comma i am giving the name of the student as rajesh comma age i am giving as 30 the rank i am giving as 1 2 comma i am typing the second student name as suresh comma with the age 20 comma then 5 the third student name is murugesh so i am typing his name comma followed by his age 25 and the next rank is 2 now this is the content we have done okay i am selecting the entire content i am going to use the third method convert text to table i am clicking that now you can see the option convert text to table the number of columns rows everything is given okay so using commas now you can see i have converted the entire text into table so this is how you can create a table convert text into table once again i will create another table using the same method this time i am going to use the hide option okay you can see why i am using this hide option that is available in the ribbon is i am going to use tab okay now i am going to use a tab you can see this arrow mark denotes tab okay see this arrow mark denotes tab this is the tab key so that can be viewed using hide and show option that is available so serial number name of the student i am using a tab after age i am using a tab then rank the serial number one after serial number one i am using a tab i am typing rajesh after rajesh i am using a tab i am typing the age 30 after that a tab rank one two tab suresh once again typing tab 20 tab and the rank five number three tab murugesh tab 25 tab and the rank is two okay now the same method i can select everything okay i am going to select the entire text you can see this is the show and hide option i am selecting the text go to insert after selecting insert i am clicking convert text to table i am selecting the option as tabs okay once again you see clicking tab now the table is created this is the second method first method i used comma the second table is created using tabs now i will show you another method the third method is i am typing serial number i am using hyphen okay hyphen name of the student hyphen age hyphen rank that is what i am going to do okay, i am going to separate these text using hyphen after that i am going to convert this text into table see one hyphen rajesh hyphen 30 hyphen 1 so the hyphen method is used for converting text to table okay now i am going to type the second detail the second detail is to suresh hyphen 20 hyphen 5 okay that is what i am going to do i am going to type the second detail after typing the second detail i am going to type the third one okay the third one is 3 hyphen murugesh hyphen 25 hyphen the rank is 2 once i have typed everything i am going to change 
this text into table okay everything is done I'm, I have changed everything I am going to change that select you can see convert text to table here you have to use hyphen okay you have to select hyphen and that everything is changed to a table okay so we have seen three methods convert text to table so it will be very useful method now we are going to do the reverse method okay now we can convert the table to text okay we have the tables now i am going to convert the table to text so it is also easy just to select the table after selecting the table you can see in the layout there is an option called convert to text okay any table can be converted to text now you can use see you can use paragraph marks you can use tabs you can use commas or you can use hyphen or anything okay now you can see that table has been reconverted to text once again i am going to change the second table see coming to layout convert to text now i am going to use tabs click ok now you can see it is also converted to text very simple okay you can convert table to text as well as text to table very simple very very simple okay now let us see i am going to move to the third table okay you can see i am selecting the ta third table going to layout convert to text and i am using commas okay click commas and click okay now it is the table is converted to text so you can see very very simply you can convert text to table as well as the table can be reconverted to text so see this is the method very simple methods select the table convert text to table and click ok the table is created very useful third method okay so you can convert text to table as well as table to text so you can see once again i am using convert text instead of other you can see i am using asterisk for changing okay you can see after serial number you have asterisk so i have converted that table using asterisk you can see once again i am going to convert text using paragraph i am converting now it is converted you can see the table has been converted to, to text now you can see show on hide i am showing you so how it is converted you can see you can also reconvert to table okay so both options are possible okay now i will move to the last one last method you can see everything is converted into table yeah the next method the next method is creating table using excel spreadsheet so this method is very useful method suppose your table has more numerical values you need to sort you need to do some multiplication anything you can use this method of creating table okay just you are inserting an excel spreadsheet inside your word document you can see i am going to do auto sum okay so the sum we have got some of all these numbers you can see you can do select and you can do the summation 32 450 the total number is 900 very useful method okay this method is a very useful method suppose if you want to do any calculation you can use insert excel spreadsheet inside the word document and you can do the calculation now i am going to sort these numbers sorting smallest to largest you can see it is done sorting largest to smallest so any numbers if you want to sort you can use this method okay i am selecting i have sorted the numbers very useful method in creation of table now i am going to create a table 
okay i have to do all the sorting okay you can see serial number name age and rank the same thing i am doing i am typing the details after typing the details i am going to sort using name i am going to sort using age i am going to sort using rank so this is what i am going to do in this table i am using the same method of inserting excel spreadsheet as a table okay now i have typed all the details after typing the details i am selecting and i am going to do the sorting okay there is an option called custom sort you click that and you select sort by okay you can either sort by serial number you can sort by name rank now i am going to do sorting by rank okay so the first rank is rajesh second is murugesh third is suresh okay you can see based on rank i have sorted now i am going to sort based on age okay so you can see murugesh suresh and rajesh based on age i have sorted and i am going to sort based on the name based on alphabetical order i am going to sort so this is the alphabetical order murugesh rajesh and suresh so this uh, table will be very useful for sorting doing calculation everything it will be very useful now the next method is creating table using quick table methods okay already you have pre defined tables in vat so you can use this quick table method select which type of table you want okay you can select those table and if you want whatever you want to edit you can edit okay that is possible okay you can see there are different types of formats are already available in word okay suppose if you want to create a calendar you can use this if you want to create some uh, items okay so here uh, there is two things involved items and what are the items needed okay you can see magazines notes paper bags okay if you want two column things you can use this method and you can create new new rows using tab keys and you can edit anything what you want okay so this method will be very useful method for creating tables once again i am repeating click quick tables select which type of table you want and you get the table whatever data you want to edit you just select that and you can delete and you can add new data okay so this is a pre defined tables are available in quick tables okay only thing you have to select which table you want you select that and you make necessary corrections in that table very useful method very quick to do also if you want to only thing you have to decide which type of table you want and you based on that you can immediately create so this is another method of creating table okay this is i am also creating a calendar different type of calendar is available okay so that is how you create table using quick table very useful method so now i am going to teach you the last method okay it is very interesting method how to create table using keyboard so far we have been creating using the methods available that is in the word now this is i am going to create a table using keyboard so you can see i am typing plus then hyphen 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 then i am typing plus then hyphen 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 then once again i am typing plus hyphen plus and enter now oh table is created there are uh, three columns table it, it, once you press tab you can number of rows can be increased okay use plus symbol okay and hyphen symbol this hyphen symbol is used for determining the width of the column if you want a big column the number of hyphen you are going to type will be 
more okay so plus the hyphen is more the column will be bigger you can see if there are four plus you are going to get three columns if you are using five plus you are going to get four columns okay so i am using five plus that means i am getting four columns the first column is bigger because i have used more hyphens so this is also a very useful method very simple method even while typing you can create this method okay just by using the keyboard you type 5 plus means 4 columns okay so that you can calculate and hyphen if it is more the width of the column will be more okay so this is the technique keyboard technique you can use this is a very useful technique for the table okay so you can practice okay so where everything comes by practice okay see the table is created very easiest method okay now i am going to teach you to do some calculation in a table okay i have typed some numbers i am keeping at the last cell i am going to the layout there is an option called formula click on formula the formula is equal to some left okay the left cells whatever they are 12 14 11 and 114 it is summed and the answer is 151 okay so now I am going to do another method 11, 134, 22, 144 I am going to sum all this equal to sum above click OK so I have made a calculation ok so similarly you can use sum above also sum below ok 12 plus 13 I am going to use the formula sum below okay sum below and you can see it is 25 yeah sum left we have seen now we will see sum right so i am going to add 25 11 and 22 plus 6 i am going to equal to sum right r i g h t equal to sum right click ok and you have the answer as 64 so this formula can be used okay so let us see how you can design this table okay click on design once you click on design there are different colors are available you can select any color and you can create different designs in the table okay so this is predefined designs are available you can select anything change the color change the format and you can do different designs in a table now i am going to teach you about splitting and merging the cells i have selected two cells i am going to click merge cells merged the cells are merged okay now you can use split cells also you selecting the cell split cells you select the number of columns and number of rows and click ok now the cells are splitted once again i am splitting the cells i am going to create two rows and one column now you can see the cell is splitted into two rows and one column. Now I am selecting the entire table. I am going to do auto fit. Auto fit contents. You, okay, you can see based on the contents, the entire table will be auto fitted. This is a very, very useful method. Okay, this we have seen everything with related to a table. Okay the alignment the designing the layout everything we have seen in, with regard to table hope 
you like this you forward to all your friends so that they can also learn about table thank you